The untimely loss of a beloved Hollywood star is always a sad occasion, but it's especially tragic when a child actor dies before they have a chance to fully realize their potential. These young stars rose to fame at a young age, but due to a combination of circumstances, their lives were cut short, leaving us to wonder what could have been. For instance, the world was shocked when Shirley Temple, who became a household name in the 1930s, he passed away in 2014 at the age of 85. Although she had a long and successful career, her death was still a reminder of the many child stars who left us too soon. Another example is Judith Barcy, a young actress who appeared in numerous commercials and TV shows during the 1980s. Sadly, she was murdered by her own father in 1988, just before her 10th birthday. Her promising career was cut short, leaving behind a legacy of unfulfilled potential. Similarly, Heather O'Rourke, who starred in the hit movie Poltergeist, passed away in 1988 at the age of 12 due to complications from surgery. Her death was a shock to fans and colleagues alike, and it served as a reminder of the fragility of life. Join us as we take a closer look at the lives and careers of these and other child stars whose lives were tragically cut short. We'll explore the circumstances that led to their untimely deaths and remember the contributions they made to the world of entertainment. Shirley Temple's journey to stardom was marked by disturbing experiences and challenges even from a young age. As a toddler, she was cast in the Baby Burlesque's film series, where she was subjected to harsh discipline methods, such as being locked in a windowless punishment box on set. This cruel treatment was just the beginning of the hardships she would face throughout her career. Throughout her time in the industry, Shirley Temple endured constant sexual harassment. Inappropriate advances from industry figures such as George Jessel and The Wizard were a regular occurrence. Unfortunately, this predatory behavior would continue to haunt her as she grew older. When Shirley Temple was just 12 years old, producer Arthur Freed exposed himself to her during an office meeting. This traumatic incident was a stark reminder of the dangers she faced in the industry. At the age of 17, producer David O. Selznick attempted to assault her, highlighting the pervasive sexual harassment that was all too common in Hollywood. In addition to the harassment she faced, Shirley Temple also had to deal with the fallout from her father's financial mismanagement. Despite earning an estimated $3.2 million, she found only $44,000 left in her savings due to her father's poor decisions. This left her in a vulnerable position, with little financial security to fall back on. Writer Graham Greene added to her struggles with his disturbing sexual reviews about the child actress. His inappropriate critiques objectified her and contributed to the harmful environment she was forced to navigate. Shirley Temple's personal life was also marked by challenges. Her first marriage to John Agar was abusive, with Agar struggling with alcoholism and frequently mistreating her. The couple eventually divorced after five years. At the age of 11, Shirley Temple survived an assassination attempt by a stalker who believed Temple had stolen her daughter's soul. This incident underscored the dangers faced by child stars, who were often thrust into the spotlight at a young age and forced to navigate a world that was not always kind or safe. The Hollywood star system, which discovered and exploited actors, played a significant role in Shirley Temple's career. She was one of the early stars shaped and controlled by the system, which sought to capitalize on her talent and youthful charm. Despite the many challenges she faced, Shirley Temple persevered and became one of the most beloved child stars of all time. River Phoenix, a talented actor who captured the hearts of many with his memorable performances, faced a significant struggle with drug use. Born on August 23, 1970, in Madras, Oregon, Phoenix was the eldest of five children in a close-knit family of missionaries and musicians. At a young age, Phoenix showed a keen interest in performing arts. He began his acting career at the age of 10, appearing in various television shows and commercials. His breakthrough role came in 1986 when he starred in the coming-of-age film Stand By Me, which earned him critical acclaim and recognition. Despite his early success, Phoenix struggled with drug use, which began when he was just 14 years old. He was known to have experimented with various substances, including marijuana, LSD, and cocaine. His drug use escalated over the years, causing a significant impact on his personal and professional life. On October 31, 1993, Phoenix's drug use ultimately led to his untimely death. He suffered a drug-related heart attack outside the Viper Room, a nightclub in Los Angeles, at the age of 23. 
His death shocked the entertainment industry and left a void in the lives of his family, friends, and fans. Phoenix's legacy continues to live on through his remarkable body of work. His performances in films such as My Own Private Idaho, Running on Empty, and Dogfight showcase his incredible talent and versatility as an actor. Despite his struggles with drug use, Phoenix remains an inspiration to many, reminding us of the importance of seeking help and support when facing personal challenges. Judy Garland, an iconic figure of Hollywood's golden age, faced immense pressure to maintain her on-screen image. As a teenager, she was already working in the entertainment industry and was subjected to strict dieting and drug use to keep her weight down and energy up. This early exposure to the harsh realities of Hollywood, combined with the intense scrutiny and expectations placed on young stars, took a toll on Garland's mental health. Despite her talent and success, Garland struggled with addiction and financial troubles throughout her life. These struggles were exacerbated by the abuse she faced, including sexual harassment from older actors while she was still a teenager. The pressure to conform to the industry's unrealistic standards, along with the trauma of her experiences, led to a lifelong battle with mental health and addiction. In 1969, at the age of 47, Garland's life was cut short when she accidentally overdosed on barbiturates. Her death was a tragic end to a life marked by both triumph and struggle. Despite the challenges she faced, Garland remains an iconic figure in Hollywood history, known for her incredible talent and unforgettable performances. Throughout her career, Garland endured severe abuse, including sexual harassment by older actors while she was a teenager. This abuse, combined with the intense pressure to maintain her on-screen image, took a significant toll on her mental health and contributed to her struggles with addiction and financial troubles. In the end, Judy Garland's life was marked by both triumph and tragedy. She remains an iconic figure in Hollywood history, known for her incredible talent and unforgettable performances. But her story is also a cautionary tale about the dark side of the entertainment industry and the immense pressure placed on young stars to conform to unrealistic standards. Natalie Wood's career as an actress was marked by significant challenges, including instances of sexual assault and harassment. At the tender age of 16, Wood was sexually assaulted by a famous movie star who had promised her mature roles. This traumatic experience had a profound impact on her and set the stage for ongoing harassment throughout her career. Despite these challenges, Wood persevered and became a highly respected and successful actress. However, she was often subjected to unwanted advances and inappropriate behavior from her male colleagues. One particularly violent encounter occurred when she was still a teenager, leaving her shaken and traumatized. Despite these setbacks, Wood remained committed to her craft and continued to work in the industry. She became known for her exceptional talent and versatility, appearing in a wide range of film and television shows. However, the specter of sexual assault and harassment continued to loom over her, casting a shadow on her success and achievements. Throughout her career, would face repeated instances of sexual assault and harassment, including the violent encounter at age 16 with a famous actor. These experiences had a profound impact on her and shaped her life and career in significant ways. Despite these challenges, Wood remained a dedicated and talented actress, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and influence others in the industry today. Dana Plato, best known for her role as Kimberly Drummond on the popular 80s sitcom Different Strokes, faced a series of challenges and struggles in her personal life after leaving the show. Born on November 7, 1964, in Maywood, California, Plato's career in show business began at a young age. She started acting in commercials and landed her breakout role on different strokes at the age of 14. The show was a massive success, and Plato became a household name. However, in 1983, Plato became pregnant and left the show. This decision had a significant impact on her career as she struggled to find roles in the entertainment industry. Plato's pregnancy and departure from different strokes marked the beginning of a downward spiral in her personal life. Plato turned to substance abuse as a way to cope with the stress and pressure of the entertainment industry. She developed an addiction to prescription drugs, which led to legal issues and financial difficulties. In 1991, Plato was arrested for robbing a video store with a toy gun. She served a short jail sentence and was placed on probation. However, she continued to struggle with addiction 
and was arrested several more times for drug-related offenses. Plato's personal life was also marked by turmoil. She was married twice and had one son. However, her relationships were fraught with conflict, and she experienced periods of homelessness. Tragically, Plato's life was cut short when she died of a drug overdose on May 8, 1999, at the age of 34. Her death was ruled a suicide, but those close to her believe it was accidental. Despite the challenges she faced, Plato's legacy lies on through her work on different strokes and her contributions to the entertainment industry. Her story serves as a reminder of the struggles that many child stars face as they transition into adulthood. Gary Coleman's rise to fame began in the late 1970s when he became one of the highest paid child stars in Hollywood. Born on February 8, 1968, Coleman stood out for his short stature, a result of a congenital disease called nephritis, which also caused him numerous health issues throughout his life. Despite his health challenges, Coleman's acting career took off when he was cast as Arnold Jackson in the hit television show Different Strokes. The show aired from 1978 to 1986, and Coleman quickly became a household name for his portrayal of the lovable and precocious Arnold. After Different Strokes, Coleman tried his hand at film, but he struggled to replicate his earlier success. He appeared in a few movies, including On the Right Track and The Kid with a Broken Halo, but they did not receive the same level of acclaim as his television work. In the late 1990s and early 2000s, Coleman took on roles that lampooned his declining image. He appeared in shows like The Surreal Life and Celebrity Boxing, where he embraced his public persona and poked fun at himself. Despite his struggles, Coleman remained a beloved figure in pop culture. His infectious personality and unique look made him a fan favorite, and he continued to work in television and film until his untimely death in 2010. Coleman passed away on May 28, 2010, at the age of 42, due to an epidural hematoma caused by several seizures. His death was a shock to fans and colleagues alike who remembered him for his talent, humor, and resilience in the face of adversity. Throughout his life, Coleman dealt with numerous health issues and a congenital disease that affected his height. However, he never let his challenges define him. Instead, he used his platform to make people laugh and bring joy to others. His legacy continues to live on through his work and the memories he created for fans around the world. Under the intense pressure to maintain her glamorous image, Joan Crawford, the legendary Hollywood actress, was subjected to a strict diet and amphetamine use. This revelation sheds light on the harsh treatment of stars under studio contracts during the golden age of Hollywood. Born Lucille Faye Lesser on March 23, 1905, in San Antonio, Texas, Crawford's journey to stardom was filled with challenges. She started her career as a dancer and slowly made her way into acting, eventually signing a contract with MGM in the late 1920s. However, the road to success came with a price. Crawford Studio, MGM, was known for its strict control over its stars, and Crawford was no exception. To maintain her slender figure, she was placed on a restrictive diet that consisted mainly of liquids and raw vegetables. This diet, while effective in keeping her weight down, left her feeling weak and fatigued. In addition to the restrictive diet, Crawford was also given amphetamines to help her stay alert and focus during long shoots. These drugs, while providing a temporary boost in energy, had severe side effects, including anxiety, insomnia, and mood swings. Despite these challenges, Crawford continued to work tirelessly, appearing in numerous films throughout the 1930s and 1940s. Crawford's dedication to her craft and her ability to overcome adversity are a testament to her strength and determination. However, the harsh treatment she endured to maintain her image reflects the unforgiving nature of the Hollywood studio system during this time. Despite the challenges she faced, Crawford remained a prominent figure in Hollywood for several decades. She won an Academy Award for her role in Mildred Pierce in 1945 and continued to act in films and television shows until the early 1970s. In conclusion, Joan Crawford's experience highlights the harsh treatment that many stars faced under studio contracts during the golden age of Hollywood. The pressure to maintain a certain image took a toll on Crawford's health, but her resilience and determination allowed her to continue to thrive in the industry. Her legacy as a trailblazing actress and a symbol of strength and determination continues to inspire generations of actors and fans alike. Mickey Rooney, born Joseph Yule Jr. on September 23, 1920, 
was an American actor who faced a lifelong struggle with addiction, partly due to the practices of MGM Studios. During the height of his career in the 1930s and 1940s, Rooney was often given stimulants to maintain his performance levels, contributing to his substance abuse issues. Rooney's career began at a young age when he started performing as a child actor. By the time he was a teenager, he had already become a major star, thanks to his roles in films like A Family Affair and Boys Town. However, the pressure to perform and the demanding schedule took a toll on the young actor. MGM, the studio behind Rooney's success, was known for its strict control over its stars. The studio supplied Rooney and his co-star Judy Garland with stimulants to help them keep up with the grueling schedule and maintain their energy levels. This practice would have a lasting impact on both actors who struggled with addiction throughout their lives. Rooney's addiction issues were not limited to the stimulants he was given during his time at MGM. He was also known to have struggled with alcohol and other substances. Despite these challenges, Rooney continued to work in the entertainment industry for several more decades, appearing in films, television shows, and stage productions. Rooney's addiction struggles were not unique in Hollywood. Many other actors and performers have faced similar challenges, often as a result of the pressures and demands of the industry. However, Rooney's experience highlights the need for greater support and resources for performers who are struggling with addiction. In conclusion, Mickey Rooney's career was marked by both incredible success and significant challenges. The practice of supplying him and other stars with stimulants to maintain their performance levels contributed to his lifelong struggle with addiction. Rooney's experience serves as a reminder of the need for greater support and resources for performers facing addiction issues. Scotty Beckett, born Albert Anthony Beckett on October 4, 1929, in Oakland, California, first gained fame as a child actor in the Our Gang series in the 1930s. Known for his cute appearance and charming personality, Beckett quickly became a fan favorite, appearing in over 20 Our Gang shorts between 1934 and 1936. As Beckett grew older, he transitioned from child roles to more mature parts in films such as Gentleman Jim with Errol Flynn and Junior Miss with Peggy Ann Garner. He also appeared in several popular radio programs, including the Jack Benny program and the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. Despite his early success, Beckett struggled with personal demons throughout his life. He developed a reputation for being difficult to work with due to his struggles with alcohol and gambling. He also had several run-ins with the law, including a 1949 arrest for drunk driving and a 1956 arrest for carrying a concealed weapon. Beckett's personal struggles began to take a toll on his career, and he found himself struggling to find work in the late 1950s and early 1960s. He made a few appearances on television shows, including Perry Mason and The Twilight Zone, but his career never regained the momentum it had in his youth. Tragically, Beckett's struggles with addiction and legal issues ultimately led to his untimely death. On May 10, 1968, he was found dead in his Hollywood apartment at the age of 38. A note and a bottle of pills were found near his body, leading authorities to believe that he had died from an overdose of barbiturates and alcohol. Beckett's life and career were marked by both great success and significant challenges. Despite his early fame and success, he was unable to overcome his personal demons and ultimately paid the price. Nonetheless, his contributions to the world of film and television will always be remembered.